Hello there, monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. Today it's time to do maybe the most useless EV test of all time, because standing right here is a smart EQ. And as we all know, this car isn't made for highway driving. I mean, come on, it does not even have DC charging capabilities. When I picked up the car this morning, it had 100% state of charge, and it estimated that it could do around 100 kilometers of range. But that is when you drive normally. I mean, when you drive top speed, and that is with this car 130 kilometers, so it's not a lot. So again, it's not made for highway driving. Uh, I guess it will probably do around 50, 60 kilometers, not more. But there's only one way to find out. Let's go. So the car is charged to 100%. It's time to go on the highway. Charging goes very quickly though, and that's because the car only has a 16 kilowatt hour battery pack. So that is not a lot. And it actually charges at 22 kilowatt max. So it goes quite quickly. Not super quick, of course, but it's good enough. It's not the fastest, the fastest car in the world, but it will go to 130 quite easy because of the electric drivetrain, of course. So let's see how far we can come. All right, we're cruising along with 130 kilometers an hour. And we have used 30% of battery capacity and we have driven. Let's scroll through all the menus. That is a little bit slow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 21 kilometers. So that means we will do around 60 kilometers as predicted, because normally the, the last 50% goes faster than the first one. But we will see. Everything is good, by the way, so let's just cruise along at top speed. So we're turning around. This car doesn't really like corners very well at high speed. Oh, there's a bird. Let's get on the highway. We've, we are at 54%, so we're, we have used 46. So the time we arrive back at the charger, we will probably have around 10% remaining, and then we will do the calculation. It's time again for speed, 130-ish, 137-ish. Here's a car, let's go in front of it, like a douche bee. Yeah. But it goes very fast, actually. Let's see how much kilometers we have driven. Scroll all the way up, up. Oh, so slowly, so slowly. 34, so maybe the smart will actually do 70. Who knows? Who knows? Almost 26, 26, 26, 25%. Yep. And how many kilometers have we driven? Let's have a look. Slow scrawly, slow scrawly. 51 actually. Not bad, not bad at all. I expected worse to be honest. So that means calculation, calculation, yeah, 65. 65, yeah, 65, something, something around that. Not bad, not bad. All right, here's the sign. 1200 meters, 8% of battery capacity left. The car already beeped twice to me that we should find a charger. We're going to, no worry, no worry. Car in front of me, let's drive a little bit slower. 600 meters, we will make it, 7%, 7%. So what will be the end result? You will see that when we arrive at the charger. So we're back at the charger and the smart actually exceeded my expectations. And that is because, well, I thought 50, 60 kilometers and then we're done with it. But no, the smart can actually do 70 kilometers on one full battery. So there you have it. The car that is not designed for this kind of work can do 70 kilometers on one full battery when it drives top speed. So if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. If you did not, please leave a comment below to see what I can improve. And then I would like to say now as always, thank you a lot for watching and to be continued.